Yeah, Duke's a hazard. <laughs> I so would have just done that Dukes of Hazard slide that Kevin did, but something tells me I would have ended up <laughs> going right through the windshield. Yeah, I got a huge belt mark on my hood now. I mean, that takes practice. Tell them where we're going now. Five guys. Five guys? In Cold Stone. In Cold Stone. We just had Chipotle. That was the first meal. Kevin can probably fit three french fries into his macros for the rest of the day, so. Yeah, 20, cap, 20 carbs left. So we, we're gonna go to Five Guys and ask if he can get three french fries. And uh, ask what the macro count is on him. Ask him what the macros are for three french fries. Josh, how are you holding up back there? Dude, it's cramped back here. I'm not used to sitting in the back of the Jetta. I've got my own, but it's. He's got about six inches of knee room up here. Yeah. Are you saying I should move up? Listen, I'm not saying I'm taller or anything, but it ain't cutting it back here. You're not a manlet? No, I'm not. Kevin's not a manlet. He's a giant. That's why he doesn't sit in the back either. He's like almost six foot tall. That's like a giant. I don't know how, how do people get six foot tall? Uh-oh. Dude, you hungry? You crazy bastard. I dare you to take a bite really of this. No, don't that. get sick. It won't fit my macros. <laughs> You're gonna have to put a, a, a half a pear on your. Don't, don't eat it. Then tomorrow you're gonna get sick, and that's only really here. Just did that. He just oh, ate you it. Really that just did that. He just ate it. Hey guys, what's up? Kyle Hunt, Hunt Fitness with Kevin Lezak. Kevin Lezak Fitness. With Kevin Lezak Fitness. KLF. KLF. Rocking the Mind Over Matter clothing line. Yep. We were just talking just now about dieting and whatnot. And I brought up the fact that I absolutely hate the keto diet. And uh, Kyle agrees with me. Exactly. So I'm gonna give you kind of my opinion of the keto diet. And so for you guys who don't know what keto diet is, it's basically dieting with an low enough carbohydrates in your system to produce ketone bodies. So basically, what I'm not gonna get all the scientific and what that is because that's not what the video is about. In the future, if you guys really want to know the, the science behind uh, the key, your body's producing ketones and stuff like that, I'll go over it. But basically, when your carbs are really low, your body will produce ketones from protein, from amino acids, to replenish glycogen levels. Because your body, like your, your brain, can only run on carbohydrates. And your brain is actually really metabolically active. Meaning, it actually requires a lot of calories. Well, not a lot, but for the amount of tissue that's actually there, a lot of calories, than what you would expect. And it only runs on glucose. So if you're not eating any carbohydrates, or you're not having any glucose coming into your system, your, your body has to come up with a way to produce glucose for, you, for your brain. Like you don't need carbs to survive. Yeah, carbs are actually They're not, not essential. Yeah, exactly. There's only essential proteins. It's not enjoyable though. Essential fats. So the keto diet for fat loss, because you see it a lot. And there's a lot of coaches who, that's kind of their system. And I absolutely hate the cookie cutter system that some coaches use. For instance, I, I, I don't normally name names, but I'm gonna name a name here, Dave Palumbo. Uh, he has been known, he just basically has a cookie cutter program where, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a keto plan, it's a cookie cutter keto plan. And I know a lot of guys use him, and it works for some of the drug guys, but not really good for naturals, except for the last couple weeks. You know, if, but if you think about it though, if you start your carbs really high and as you drop calories throughout a prep, you kind of end up almost keto, keto anyways. That's what we regardless, were just we're just like, saying that. Right now, I'm in 100 carbs uh -huh. today. Which, which isn't really, I would consider keto, keto probably, you know. for most people, like 40 to 50 grams of carbs a day, your body will start right. producing ketone bodies. For the Arnold, we, we dropped down to 80 grams. 80 grams. Day. So we're so. kind of just outside of, of ketones. And um, some coaches, some coaches I respect towards the end of a prep will actually drop, you know, say they're at like 80 grams, we'll just say, screw it, I'll drop it down to like 40 and take all uh, direct carbohydrate sources out because you'll actually feel slightly better because if you shift your body over producing ketone bodies. But I don't think it's more efficient for fat loss. And what my main thing is, is that 
it's just not necessary. Like the kids who are looking to lose a little bit of weight, people, people especially people who just want to lose some weight. Some mm -hmm. people who are overweight, like older generations where I see the most of it too, like my parents age and stuff like that. Everyone believes in no carb diet, lose a bunch of weight. You don't need to do that, you don't. And that's what drives me crazy is that people don't get it through their head that you don't need to do it because it's not enjoyable to move your carbs so low. You have no energy in the day. And, and you know, to, to kind of piggyback on that is you see guys post on like Facebook that, for instance, they'll say, wow, I had a really good, good workout today for being on no carbs. And think about that for a second. If you, when you're, when you're dieting, your number one goal should be to maintain as much muscle as possible. The best way to do that is to remain training really hard. Whatever training program helps you build muscle is gonna be the one that's gonna help you maintain the most muscle. Right, and that's why during my whole show prep, my whole off season, I was doing a heavy, heavy weight with low reps. And mm -hmm. my whole show prep, I did heavy, heavy weight with low reps. I never Cut changed. Right the same. I didn't go up to 12 reps, 15 reps to get those extra shreds and definition mm -hmm. and stuff because that's that came from my dieting. Yeah, it's, it's straight bullshit. And one thing that a lot of my clients will know, and Kevin can, can relate to this is I try to keep carbohydrates as high as possible. Yeah, my first week I was 2,900, 20, I think 2,900 calories. Yeah, and carbs were, week. were ridiculously high. And, uh, you know, I just, I feel that people can maintain the training intensity best on carbohydrates. Do some people need to lower them a little bit more than others? Yeah, of course, everyone's a little bit different. But if you are training like shit, and it's because you're on no carbohydrates, that's not optimal for maintaining muscle. So basically, I just want to throw this video out there and, and to kind of shoot down the notion or popular belief that carbohydrates need to be limited for fat loss. Yeah, don't get it strong, it works. It does work. It, it works, will. but it's not necessary. Exactly. And it's, you don't, this is an analogy I like to use. And it kind of relates to deficits more than the drop in carbohydrates, but it works in this sense as well, is don't use a sledgehammer when a little pickaxe or a little like hammer will work. Meaning start with a very small deficit, moderate deficit with is you know, a balanced diet, you know, set your protein, set your fat, and then fill the rest with carbohydrates and keep them as high as possible. I mean, that, that tends to work great. And lose weight as slow as you can <laughs> mm -hmm. too, because then it's going to come back on slower especially people who are just overall not show prepping, just overall people losing weight. A lot of my clients, they want to lose five or six pounds a week. You know, they want to, they want like, oh, I yeah. tell them, yeah, you lost two pounds this week. That's great. That's a good job. That's where we want to be. Three, three to five pounds, not over five. You know, if you lose too much, they want to lose 10 pounds a week. Everyone oh, yeah. just wants to be where in at their goal tomorrow. You know, yeah, everyone wants stuff overnight. Two and with, and that's some why kind of the low carbohydrate, like Atkins diet got popular in the beginning because you do lose a ton of weight right in the beginning the because carbohydrates, carbohydrate, the hydrate part means water holds water. So when you take out carbohydrates, you kind of eliminate a lot of water in your system. So you drop water weight real fast. Yeah. So. Hopefully we dispelled the myth of low carb dieting and uh, want to add anything? That's about it. I'm gonna go eat some carbs. I got 20 grams left today. Yeah, you can have three french fries.